Listen, in case you weren't aware, I'm a simp for elves, especially Warhammer elves. The High Elves have such a good take on the elf archetype, the Wood Elves are fucking nuts, and the Dark Elves are perfect if you just need a dose of edge in your life. But I gotta be honest, sometimes I don't want elegant martial prowess and dignified mages. Sometimes I don't want a dying race desperately raging against the changing times. Sometimes I want to throw thousands upon thousands of disposable assholes at a problem until I can't see it anymore. Does that sound like your thing? Well then allow me to introduce you to the Skaven. I can add some Vermintide footage of this too, fucking sweet. Skaven are the best creation Games Workshop has ever made. Everything about them is just great. Let's take a journey back in fictional times and see where this great race of rats rose to radiance. Back in the olden days of the original Warhammer world, there was this great city of Kavzar. Bit of an awkward name, but that's alright. It had dwarfs living underneath in a great city, and humans living above in a great city, so already we don't even have the usual Warhammer racism stuff. And this city was amazing, not just amazing by Warhammer standards, it was just straight up a great place to live. And one day, they decided they wanted to build a monument to the gods to thank them for their amazing lives. So they start building this massive tower in appreciation, like the Tower of Babel, but it's supposed to praise the gods, not try and cheat your way into heaven. But as they kept building, it got harder and harder to construct it until at a certain point, not even the dwarfs and their engineers can work on it anymore. Unfortunately for the city, they had hit the world height limit and couldn't place any more blocks. And as construction came to a halt, along came a mysterious stranger with an offer. This guy had just one simple request. Let him put an offering to his god at the top as well, and he'll complete their tower. By this point, everyone in Kavzar figures, fuck it, what have we got to lose? And agrees. Sure enough, the stranger installs 1.17, increasing the height limit and completing the tower with a simple yet massive bell resting at the top. The townsfolk celebrate their good fortune, and as they do, the bell tolls 13 times before falling silent. Now here's where the details get a bit murky. Some say the stranger was just straight up an evil cunt, a real goob. Others say the townsfolk shorted him some additional payment that he also asked for. Either way, shit starts going south, like early World War II for the Allies south. It starts raining pure chaos rocks, the crops start failing, and the whole time the rats of the city get bigger and more aggressive. At first everyone was just like, ah, oh, what a wacky coincidence, I'm sure it'll blow over soon. Then the rats started hunting them down in the streets and were the size of people. At this point the humans were understandably in a full-blown panic and demanded the dwarfs let them into their hold. The first time the dwarfs told them to fuck off and deal with it yourselves, you bunch of pussies. The second time the dwarfs said fuck off and deal with it yourself. Also rats ate almost all of our food so we couldn't help anyways. The third time the people just bashed the gates down and found nothing but dwarf skeletons gnawed clean and hordes of well-fed but still hungry rats. The tale of the doom of Kavzar ends there, with the remaining townsfolk being overrun by the now Skaven Ratmen. Flash forward a couple thousand years later and you've got the Skaven Empire. Dozens of clans with millions of rats in different roles each, such as Clan Pestilence, worshipping their horned rat god as a bringer of disease and spreading plague to the surface world. They even cause the Black Death, honest to god. Or Clan Eshin being a group of evil master splinters. Or Clan Mulder making... that. Ugh. Oh, nuclear weapons of course, shout out to Clan Scryer. The Skaven hate everyone alive, including each other. The only reason they haven't conquered everything through sheer weight of numbers is because they constantly fight amongst each other. Each Skaven thinks they alone are the true leader of their race, and will fight tooth and nail to climb above their brethren. From the lowest slave to the Lords of Decay running the show, they all think of themselves only second to their god. Even then, some of them think that maybe there should be two gods of the Skaven. Self-reflection is not a quality they hold in high regard. Flash forward Sigmar knows how many years now, and the Skaven have survived the end times of the Warhammer world into Age of Sigmar. The Great Horned Rat dragged their capital to the Realm of Chaos, and then the Skaven, being unmatched and fucking things up, managed to sink it back into reality. Somehow. It lets them tunnel across dimensions though, so it worked out in the end. Now each of the former great clans of the Skaven, like Pestilence or Scryer, is now a type of clan. Those dozens of clans with millions of rats each are now thousands of types of clans with millions of rats each. Fuck yeah, I love rats. Pardon me. Anyway, there's a nice lore dump for you. Now let's get into why you should go for the Skaven. Starting, of course, with more lore reasons. Do you want your narrative to never have any major defeats for you and your army? Ever? Because if so, you want the Skaven. Imagine trying to kill every rat in the world. That just isn't happening. You kill one and they've already given birth to another 20. That's the Skaven. Your victories can be crucial or minor, but they're victories. Your defeats are nothing. Oh no, I lost 100,000 elite troops in this engagement. It'll be at least 10 minutes before we get them back. Who gives a shit about casualties when you literally breed like rats? How about the tone of their faction? Well, if you want serious or silly, the Skaven have you covered either way. For serious, they're a race of ever-expanding remnant that lurk in every shadow, every corner. 
Mad scientists of their godforsaken kind create horrid creatures of flesh and bone stitched together in the worst of ways before sending them off to wreak havoc. Strange and bizarre technology mixed with magic unleash weapons of pure destruction upon those they fight. And that's just what the average person sees when they attack. All the while, those in the know realize that if the Skaven were to ever attack in force, there's nothing that can be done to stop the unending tide of rats from overtaking their walls and fortresses in a living wave of murderous ratmen. The Skaven battle tome even says that if the people of Immortal Realms knew the true extent of the Skaven Under Empire, they'd be driven to despair and madness at the sheer size of it. How the fuck can you make that kind of stuff silly? Well, like this. If there's one word that can describe the Skaven as a race, it isn't numerous or unrelenting or anything else like that. It's asshole. Because the Skaven, as a race, are all assholes. A real line from one of the Gotrek and Felix books involves the Skaven mage Thanquil thinking about how there's more than one way to skin an infant, and at another point he indulges in the time-honored Skaven tradition of shooting the messenger. They'll take something for you as part of a trade deal, then immediately stab you with it. They have no capability for self-reflection. Any failures are always incompetent underlings, or sabotage, or incompetent underlings sabotaging you. And they talk speak like insane crazy lunatics. Don't forget the warp stone that doubles as both fuel for their weapons and magical cocaine for their mages. One clan also blew up the old Warhammer world's evil moon. Not because they needed to or anything, but because the Gracier leaders had pulled it closer to the world for shits and giggles, and the scientist clan didn't want to be overshadowed by them. Because what good is a society really if it isn't just one constant dick measuring contest? The Skaven as a race range from a bunch of horrifying monsters to a race of Dr. Doofenshmirtz's, and to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. Now how about I get to why you should play them in a game? In a world of swords and magic, do you want the worst bits of World War I? Because that's what the Skaven bring to the table. Look at this fucking thing. It's called a Rattling Gun. How could you not love it? Sniper rifles, poison gas, DOOM WHEELS! That last one wasn't a World War I weapon, but it should have been. Not a fan of Magitek trench warfare? No problem, we have biological abominations too. Ever throw a rat ogre at something? It isn't getting back up. Why not add a machine gun to the rat ogre as well while you're at it? Mix and match your mad science. When everyone else brings at best a cannon to the table, roll up with an LMG and a laser cannon. And of course, who could forget the hundreds of rats you'll be using as expendable cannon fodder as well. They come in many flavors, from weakling clan rat to the spicy plague monks to the astoundingly adequate storm vermin. They all have varying levels of combat capability, but at the end of the day, their function is the same even if the way they go about it can differ. Drown the enemy in bodies and hold them down for the big guns. Even weapons and monsters hit pretty hard if the RNG goes in your favor, and when the enemy is properly tied down on a tide of rats, the vermin tide can be almost impossible to stop. You can go all in on an army of nothing but cheap, expendable rats to throw at the enemy, or you can go all in on some mad science. But a true Skaven army mixes and matches, bringing a hellish hammer to complement an unending anvil of rats. If the idea of a swarm faction with a bit more going for it in the form of heavy specialty weapons appeals to you, then the Skaven are definitely the army to go for. But maybe you aren't a fan of the rats for some indiscernible reason. Why might you not want to collect and play the Skaven? Lore reasons first, same as before. I said defeat's basically nothing permanent to the Skaven, and I meant that. The downside, though, is that Skaven victories usually come with equally vicious fuck-ups to maintain balance. It's kind of like how if a character can come back from the dead or regenerate, the other kills him off whenever they get a chance. Case in point, in Age of Sigmar, they managed to screw over one of the projects the Lord of the Undead Nagash was working on. Good stuff, yeah? Well, it would've been if another group didn't open a portal straight to the bottom of a sea filled with nothing but zombies that millions of the fuckers swarm on in. It's kind of part of the fun in a mad scientist way, but get used to any official victories the Skaven get just immediately being offset, pretty much always due to their own incompetence too. Another reason, if you want any form of a just cause in your army, then you need to move on. There's literally nothing redeeming about the Skaven. They have no concept of loyalty or honor, they care about the inherent value of life about as much as they care for the dirt they walk on, you won't find good guys here. It was actually a Skaven slave in old Warhammer lore who tried to be a decent being and rallied the other Skaven slaves to his cause to earn their freedom. The Skaven leaders then said that anyone who betrayed the Spartacus rat would be pardoned for their actions, whereupon the slaves ripped him apart and brought what's left of him to the leaders. Then the leaders killed all the slaves anyway. The moral of the story is that there are no morals here. Don't bring your grey morality near these goddamn rats. The only thing grey about the Skaven is their mages. Relatedly, no one likes you. At all. Even demons get more love than you because at least they have SOME decent qualities. You may have all the troops in the world, but you'll need them. Because most people would probably rather have a fatal brain hemorrhage than make friends with a Skaven, and with good reason. Get used to it just being you and your dozens of fellow meat shields, my friend. How about rules? What's bad there? Well, if you want your basic troops to have some real weight to them, then you don't want the Skaven. Even their storm vermin elite are nothing compared to the other faction's heavy-hitting infantry. The role is to either hold the enemy down while the weapons and monsters do the real damage, or overwhelm them with numbers, and either way, a lot 
lot of them are gonna die while doing it. If you want elite troops, go for the Stormcast or something. We breed like rats and die like rats here. Oh, and speaking of that weaponry, it has a habit of just kind of exploding. Here, I'll go through one of the rules for the warp fire thrower unit. <clears throat> More more warp fire. If you so desire, you can choose to double the amount of dice you roll to see if they deal damage to those in the flamethrower's path. However, when you're done with that, you have to roll an additional die once all is said and done. And if you roll a 1 or a 2, the model just fucking dies. So, yeah, if you want reliability or anything close to it, then you'd best look elsewhere. Now granted, again, in my opinion, that's part of the chaotic fun of playing Skaven, and is entirely optional, but if you want the full force of your units to not have a chance of self-immolating themselves, then maybe, yeah, go look somewhere else. And the last reason isn't strictly one of rules, but one of models. You're gonna be painting and collecting a lot of them, like an inordinate amount. The basic unit of Clan Rats has 20 models in its box, same for Plague Monks and Storm Vermin. And, uh, spoiler alert? That's not enough. You're gonna be throwing around a lot of paint to get these guys ready, and their heavy hitters are reasonably big models like the Storm Fiend or the Hellpit Abomination, so if you aren't painting a lot of small ones, you're painting some big ones. Don't get them if you want to spend more time playing than painting your army. And that's my fellow rat lovers, was the Skaven. Incredibly numerous, incredibly expendable, incredible assholes. Wait, no, not like that. Hopefully I've solidified any purchasing decisions regarding roads of unusual size you may have been considering. And if not, then feel free to yell at me in the comments. You can get a prize if you break my spirit beyond repair. Thanks for watching. Take care out there. We rats. We rats. We the rats. We pray at night. We stop at night. we the rats. Alright, click off now if you don't want to be disgusted, but there is a sickening amount of Skaven Rule 34 out there. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. Like, you know, I, I, you know, I get being a slanesh tier degenerate, believe me, I understand that, but... I, fuck, the Skaven? Really? I didn't even find out on purpose, I was just looking for Skaven art, and then, bam, rat titties. Just beware looking for cool rat fan art on the internet, because if you're not careful, you're going to find some uncool rat titties.